All right, falafel review. We're at number one Istanbul kebab house, Turkish place on 9th Avenue between 49th and 48th Street. Uh, 9th Avenue is one of the densest populations of restaurants in the city. Uh, so there's, you know, nonstop restaurants up and down the block. Uh, Turkish place, looks really authentic inside. Let's see how it is. All right, we're at, or we're outside Gutenberg Park, I should say. It's closed because it's a school day. Uh, it's adjacent to the High School of Graphic Communications and Arts. It used to be known as the New York State School of Vocational Printing, which explains the association with the Gutenberg Park, which were built at the same time in the 1950s. Uh, park is named after Johannes Gutenberg, legendary figure in history whose contributions are largely unrivaled to the progress of the Renaissance and modern science. Mr. Gutenberg is a European inventor who is most known as having created the Gutenberg Press. By 1450, Mr. Gutenberg's printing press was in operation. It is said that he took an 800 guild loan from noted financier Johann Fust. Reportedly, there were two goals in the enterprise. The first was to publish the Bible, and the second was to help the church publish its indulgences, which at the time were controversial and led to the Protestant Reformation. The Gutenberg Bible would finally get published in 1455. It was published in Latin with Gothic type on vellum, and they printed 180 copies. After the publication of the Bible, Mr. Fust sued Mr. Gutenberg over misuse of funds. And over time, the issue became moot as their local hometown was sacked by a local archbishop, Archbishop Adolf von Nassau. Archbishop Nassau recognized Gutenberg's contributions. He in inducted him into the third order of the church, which is a respected position. And he was given a stipend and benefits until his death in 1468. All right, this is Istanbul Kebab House. Let's see how it is. Here's the first view. Nice grilled wrap. First bite in, pretty tasty. Got some hummus in there, some falafel, uh, some toppings. A few bites in, this is pretty solid. Falafel's pretty tasty, the wrap is really great, authentic. Hummus is rich, it's very velvety and rich. Uh, the Turks do hummus properly, so it's, there's a generous portion on there. They give you sauce on the side, so we'll, hit, we'll see how those are. The hot sauce is nice and tangy, not super spicy, but really good flavor. The white sauce is nice and creamy, like a yogurt-based uh, kind of dill sauce. All right, final bite, final verdict. This is really solid. Everything plays its role. Uh, the toppings are good. Falafel's tasty. The sauces are good. The wrap is authentic. Uh, came out to about 9.25. It's a pretty good price point. This is an 8.3.